Sunday Hardware is an Australian company that was created right here in Sydney by the legend George Kasoulis. George has been involved in the skate industry here in Australia for so many years. He's actually an amazing skateboarder and filmer himself, but he has some of the biggest named Australian pros on his team, such as Chima Ferguson, Jake Hayes, Jackson Pills, and obviously Jack O'Grady. So I used to skate with Jack maybe like 10 to 12 years ago, so I'm so happy and proud to see how far he's come in his skate journey and how successful his skate career is going at the moment. He's an absolute legend and he shreds so hard. I'm sure all of you guys know exactly who Jack O'Grady is and the gnarliness comes to mind when you think of him. So weirdly enough, Sunday Hardware has been around forever. It's a massive Australian company here, but I've never tried any of their bearings before. So I've recently come across and got myself a set of these Jack O'Grady Pro Sunday bearings here. These are shieldless bearings that are all black with a red casing on the inside. So they look super sick too. So I'm happy to try out Sunday Hardware bearings for the first time, support an Australian company, support a homie that I used to skate with. And the fact that they're shieldless, I've never had shieldless bearings before, so I'm excited to try that. Obviously, I've popped the shields off some of my bearings before, but I've never actually had some proper shieldless bearings, so I'm keen to see how these are gonna go. So the description of these bearings on the website say they're made from high carbon chromium steel. They're shieldless for all the free ballers out there. Grease lubricated, nylon cage, deep groove races, Sunday hardware team tested and approved, 30 day manufacturer's guarantee, and they're pro rated, not ABEC rated. So for those of you that don't know, a lot of bearing companies don't go off the ABEC system anymore. When it comes to skateboarding, we're not operating at a high or fast enough level for the ABEC rating to actually come into consideration. So a lot of companies have scrapped their ABEC ratings and they just make their prorated bearings. So I'm super excited to set these up and go and skate them for the first time. It is kind of hard doing a bearing review only skating them one session. So I'm gonna try and do as much as I can in this one session today. I'm gonna test the speed and control of the bearings, how long it takes for them to break in. I'll do a bit of a spin test once I set them up and get them on my board, see how long they spin for. Even though that's not a true test of how they're gonna perform because that's just spinning your wheel by itself. It's not under any load or me standing on my skateboard. So it doesn't really equate to that. But people love to see how long bearings can spin for and just yeah I want to test my speed and the smoothness so let's set these up head to the park and do the first test which is the spin test Oosh. it sounds sick These are fast. These bearings are so good. They broke in straight away. They're going heaps fast and heaps smooth. I'm actually having a bit of trouble just trying to keep up with them because I've been skating more street and rough spots so my board's been slower. So here at Carnes Hill at a nice, like a better skate park than a street spot. Like it's a lot smoother here. I'm actually flying. So super good bearings so far, broke in straight away. So let's just keep skating around and see how they feel as the session goes on.
These bearings actually impressed me so much. My first impression on the spin test is the sound is so sick. A lot of people pop the casings off their bearings just so they get that raw kind of bearing spinning sound. And it sounded so cool as I spun it and as I skated through the whole session. They were super fast straight away. No breaking period. I actually had to get used to how fast they were because they held their speed. They didn't seem to slow down. So I felt like I was needing to lean a bit more forward and just keep up with my skateboard because it was just cruising so fast. Did take a little bit of getting used to, but I'm coming from riding the Spitfire Cheap Shots. They're only $20 bearings. So I actually filmed that session four weeks ago today and I've been riding these bearings ever since and they've kept their speed the whole time they haven't started slowing down they haven't got dirty nothing's gone wrong with them so I'm already going to recommend these hundred percent they're only forty dollars if I could compare them to the bones reds which is maybe the industry like standard at the moment reds are thirty five dollars and it does have a little bit of wear in time I've found so they don't get to their fastest point straight away you kind of have to wear them in for a few days first these Sunday shieldless bearings they're a pro bearing and they're only forty dollars so five dollars extra and they're so much better like I said I'm so impressed from these bearings so you guys that are skeptical of shieldless bearings, these are actually designed to be shieldless. So they've got deeper races for the ball bearings to sit in, so they're not gonna pop out as easy. And they're lubed in a way that isn't gonna attract all the gunk and the dirt as you're riding through. So since they're open, a lot of the dirt and stuff can get in there, but it can come straight back out. It doesn't get stuck inside like a normal bearing that you've popped the case on, because it's super lubed on the inside of the standard bearings. So they've lasted so well in the first four weeks of skating them. So I can definitely vouch for these bearings. They're amazing, I'm so impressed, and they just sound amazing. They look cool too, all black with the little red backing on the inside. So that's all I've got to say about these bearings. They went well, they wore in quick, they stayed fast and I've been skating them for a month and they're still perfect. So if you like this video, check out my Spitfire Cheap Shot bearing review right here. They are $20 bearings and I've been riding them since I made that video. So they do last well. I think I've had like gone through two pairs of them, but for $20, they're such a good bearing for the price. So check that one out. Let me know what bearings you want me to do next and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.